Hello and welcome to another tutorial by Harla Penguin. I'm Norm and I will be teaching you how to rig in Blender. So the first step is to press Shift A to add armature bone. Adjust the bone, press Tab, extrude up. Extrude up again to make the head bone. We'll adjust those a little bit. Now I like to work with a, a filled model instead of the wireframe. So select armature, x-ray, and then Z to fill in the model. Now we'll work on the arm. Shift A to add a bone. Extrude to make the, the lower arm bone, and move it into place. Add a slight bend to the elbow. This will make it easier when we add the inverse kinematics. Now we will add in the leg bone, Shift A, adjust that into place. E to extrude the lower leg bone. Add a slight bend at the knee. E to extrude the foot bone. All right, looking good. Now we're going to add the IK bones. Select the hand bone as well as the foot. E to extrude both of those out. Select each one. Click Alt P to remove the parenting. Now we're going to add in knee and elbow pull targets. All right, so select the hand and the foot IK bones. Click the deform. Get rid of that check mark. This means that it won't deform the mesh. Do the same for the knee and elbow pull targets. Now we are going to name the bones. I use a, a naming convention for naming my bones, particularly for the arms and legs. And you'll see how this benefits us when we duplicate and flip the armature. Now we're going to add the IK constraints. Switch to pose mode, select your IK bone and the bone that it will control. Press Shift Control C. On the right side, in the bone constraints tab, set the chain length to and set the pull target to the knee. As we can see, it, it doesn't quite bend the right way. So we're going to modify the rotation to 90 degrees. Works, looks good. All right, now in edit mode, let's select the arm and leg bones. We're going to press period to rotate around the cursor, shift D, and then S, X, negative one to scale, and then flip the names. Next step is to apply 
the armature to the mesh, select the mesh, select the armature, control P and select automatic weights. This automatically creates vertex groups. You can then use weight paint to clean up the groups. We want to parent the arms to the pelvis bones. Do the same for the upper leg bones. Now, if we move the pelvis, it moves the entire mesh. And that's it. Here's a short animation using the rig. Thank you for watching.